everyone here to this very ceremonial and wonderful event. A long time in coming, over 50 years uh, that we've been waiting for this day. I want to thank all those that are here, members of the community, thank the students that are here, and hopefully this will benefit all of you, as I know it will uh, in the future. But thank you to our community for coming out in April and supporting this endeavor, not only this stadium, but the improvements, millions of dollars in improvements throughout our district, inside our buildings, and preserving the very tradition of excellence that we have in Raytown. It's my pleasure to be here as your superintendent of schools. Uh, when we started, I can remember back, I think it was my second year here, we decided that Chitwood Stadium, uh, we played two games, uh, sometimes you know every other week on that field, and after the first rainy night, that field was done for the year. And many of the people that are sitting here as the Board of Education decided, well, that's not good enough for our kids. And we decided to put turf on both fields at Raytown High and Raytown South. And now we've taken this next step when over 2,000 people are going to be sit, 2,000 home fans are gonna be sitting on this side of the field next August, if that's our first home game, the end of next August, the first part of September. Uh, and watching a home football game for the first time. I think that's excellent and I think that deserves a round of applause. Woo! Last time I had cheerleaders cheerleading for me is over 25 years ago. <laughs> they weren't cheering for me. Thank you ladies, thank you. It's an honor to be here with the school board and it's my pleasure to introduce uh, the board president, one of the, the people behind this endeavor, along with the other fellow board members, and that's Dr. Christy Collins DeLarber, and she'd like to bring greetings on behalf of the board. So I said um, this was really hard for me today. I've been wearing royal blue all day. Um, I'm a Raytown High School graduate, so I don't wear red and black very often, although it is a staple in my closet, so this is, this is normal, but it is hard. So I was really excited to get to come out in red and black today. I am, like I said, a Raytown graduate, but I have five nieces and nephews who have graduated from Raytown South recently. And uh, I was talking with them, and I think that this is one of those things that uh, everyone in the community is really excited about, but recent graduates are very opinionated about. Um, their big question is, why didn't we do this sooner? Um, many of them would like to come back and maybe be here a few more years just so they could enjoy that here. So um, I would like uh, my fellow board members who were able to be here today we do have a few still at work and one that works at the Royal Stadium so of course he could not be here but those that are here Mr. Rick Moore Dr. Pam Arland and Mr. Jerome Barnes in talking with people in the community, um, I think everyone is really, really excited about the stadium. And um, talking with graduates from both sides, alumni, from many years ago, um, one person said it best. And he was a Raytown High School graduate from back in the 60s. And he said, you know, Raytown South High School kids should be able to play on their own turf. And he said both figuratively and literally. So um, we are really excited as a community for you all to have this wonderful stadium. I think as a school board, um, we're even more excited to see this as just an additional step in the process. And uh, we're excited to see what happens next. We will be some of the biggest supporters here on that first home game. So thank you all very much. And Michael, I think you're next. Good afternoon, I'm Michael Couts with ACI Boland Architects. I'm a principal with the firm. Uh, with me today is Mr. Pat Sutluff. He's the uh, project architect and been instrumental in putting together all of the uh, design and construction documents for this project. Uh, I do want to thank the school district for allowing us to be a part of this project. We're really excited about it. Not only this project, but other projects that are going to be a part of the bond issue. There's another group of people that worked with us as we developed these documents for this stadium. And it was a group of people, not only from the school district, but also the community. 
and met with us numerous times as we put together these documents. I know today you think it's just getting started, but we've been working for months getting to this point. Uh, as Dr. Markley said, there's going to be a new grandstands on this side of the stadium, which will hold about 2,000 people, new press box. In addition to that, as you can see, all the bleachers that were here have been removed. They're coming back, but they're going to the other side of the stadium. In addition to that, there's a new concession stand and restroom facility. I will tell you there should be plenty of restrooms in that uh, new facility over there. With that, what we're looking forward to is next August as this project's completed and we have the dedication and everybody is here and in the stands and utilizing it. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Huff and Ms. Alley for giving me the opportunity to uh, speak this afternoon. I want to thank the uh, cheerleaders and cadets and the football team, and the soccer, track team, teachers that came out. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Hammond and Ms. Pierce, assistant principals, are back there. There's one person I'm going to introduce real quick. Uh, this is a person that's really vital to this whole project. And many of you don't know him, but you probably need to know him. And that's Dr. Travis Hux. Where are you, Dr. Hux? Can you you step up so they see who you are, sir. Oh, okay. I want to thank uh, the Board of Education and uh, the community of Raytown, their district administration, for placing this stadium initiative on the bond issue last spring. I'm really happy for our students and uh, our families at South High. They're going to have a place to call home. I'm anticipating many, many events behind me to take place. This is a very big day in the history of our school. At this time, Ms. Alley, I believe we're to move over to this uh, mound of dirt for the official groundbreaking with the golden shovels. So athletes and students, if you'll move sort of back and give the folks that are digging and um, Dr. Markley, Dr. Hux, all board members, Michael and Pat, you're the first shot. <laughs> this is how I spend my weekend. Now we're going to move this pile three feet that way. Everybody have what they need? 